Hello everybody, welcome back to the training in Automoticon M221. In this video we're going to talk about the post configuration file, which is basically the configuration for the Ethernet port or the serial line that we have on the controller. So we're going to see how we can change those configurations using the SD card and also how we can do it using the Ecostruction Machine Expert basic. So let's go to the presentation. So let's start with this introduction. So the, the easiest way to do it by SD card is accessing to this pad that we have over here inside the post configuration and we have three specific folders, add, change, read and remove. So basically these are the options that we have in order to generate the script to use in the SD card to generate an action in the post configuration. So let's go deeper into the presentation here. So let's try to access into these three folders. So if we go to the where the software is installed, from Schneider Electric, Ecostructure Machine Expert Basic, firmware and post configuration over here, you can find this folder, post configuration. If we go here, we can find these three folders. So you have as change, you have the script over here. And if we open this, edit, it says download user CFG, okay? Which has basically can go to user CFG. And here we can open this and modify what we need. So here you can see that in my case, I have already configured this, but you can change the configuration from the serial line, optional the serial line two for the device. Okay. So if we go now to the read, the command inside the script will be different. Upload, you said here it says the function upload user CFG. Okay, so it will create a folder, okay, in our SD card called SD USR, okay, for user, and then the folder CFG with the configuration of the post configuration in the PLC. And then if we go here to remove, there is another command, which is delete, that will be delete the folder inside the PLC. So let's continue now with this if you don't want to use the folders you can create those commands okay when you go to the commissioning memory management you can create the controller image and then you can delete the actual configuration this is important for example if somebody has already played around with the M221 and that you want to communicate the PLC to an HMI or to another device, okay? And when you download the application, your application, it looks like it, it loses the configuration that you have downloaded for the Ethernet, for the model serial, then it means that there is a post configuration in the PLC, okay? That's why you cannot change those parameters so this is important that you should know how to erase those post configurations so if we go back here full screen so you can see that you can create a controller image okay and then you can erase the post configuration by creating the controller image okay only with the command to erase the post configuration and then you can download this into a sd card let me just go back here and these are the step, okay, in order to make it work. But what I'm going to do is the following. So imagine that you are directly connected to the PLC and you want to change that directly instead of using the SD card. Okay, it's possible. The first thing that you need to do is to connect with the controller, as you see in here, online, run. Then what you need to do is to go to the memory management and here you have some options when you are online, backup, restore, and erase. What you need to do is to erase in controller. In our case, we are going to delete only the post configuration file. So click on there, select that, yes, perfect. 
And if you want to check if the controller has some post configuration files, you can use this. Okay, if there is nothing checked over here, okay, it means that there is no configuration file. There is no post configuration. Okay, there is also some internal SWU variables. Okay, let me just double check. These ones, okay, which are the SW 98, 99, and 100 that allows you to see if there is a post configuration option already for the serial line 1, 2, or the Ethernet port of the controller. So, this is one way to do it on the software. And this one is to easily see it if you have something already in there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to already predefine the. Let me just go back here and I found it. Program files. Schneider Electric. Here. So I'm going to download the post configuration file that I have in one of those. Ecostructure Machine Expert Basic Post Configuration over here. I'm going to add change. Okay, I'm going to copy this into the SD card. So I'm going to format the SD card. Format SD card. Yes. Format complete. Close. Okay. This PC, SD card, going to pet, okay, script, edit. So we have download the configuration. So if we go user, CFG, machine CFG, we can modify all this, okay. And I believe this is what I want. Uh, I'm going to change this one to another one. Okay. And this will be for another controller, the connection, another thing later. So I'm going to save this. Save. Okay. And now I'm going to remove the SD card. Good. I'm going to disconnect from the controller. I'm going to open the presentation so we can follow those steps. So what we need to do, we have already done the first step, the second step, the third one, the fourth one. Now we're going to remove the power supply, the controller. Remove this. Okay, you can see no LEDs, mean it's off. Now I'm going to connect the SD card. Okay, it's on. Power on the controller. Going to check if the Ethernet cable is already connected. Good. Power on. Verify. Okay, so the LED is already off for the SD card. So what we can do now is to remove the controller. Okay, remove the SD card from the controller. Remove the SD card. Okay, we have the Ethernet connection over there. I'm going to connect the SD card into my laptop. Wait for this to finish. Okay, there is some script over here. So, I have start the script, download the configuration, and end the script. Okay, so in order to validate this, what we can do is to connect now with the controller. And see if some of these are already checked. So I'm going to connect. As you can see here, they have taken all the configuration new for the post configuration. Okay, and if I want to delete this configuration, we just need to go to memory management, erase in controller. I'm going to erase only the post configuration, erase. Okay, success, close, and 
controller info okay let me just disconnect and connect again <laughs> controller a memory management erase should have work let me see to connect again no okay so memory management erasing controller post configuration success controller info and it's not in there so let's disconnect the controller remove the power supply just for this to take effect power on Perfect, the cable is connected. Okay, as you can see, I forgot to power it off and power on again the controller. Uh, da, 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 da. We must do a power cycle. I forgot this part. My bad. Okay, we should do the power cycle. So, you can see over here that the chain has already gone okay and if we go to the programming those files are in zero so let's continue with the presentation okay to see if there is something missing okay i already mentioned this these are the internal bits that i mentioned before okay this is what happened you have these three system words okay and each bit has their own part of the configuration okay so you can check what you have already configured see now it should be your turn to make this work okay so the idea of this part is to make the same step that i have done okay so you can change the post configuration file um use the delete then you can download your own or change okay using the three different folders that you have inside your in, in your laptop you can check the actual status using these three sw variables okay the system what the system variables then you can delete it and check the behavior remember if you are doing this it's important to power cycle the plc otherwise you can see what happened and I show you okay I forget to make the power cycle and those uh, configuration uh, system variables indicates there is some post configuration when I have already deleted so after the change of the parameter is important that you make a power cycle of the PLC in order to make it work so this is it for the post configuration files for the M221 thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one